Welcome to this BHI video. In this video, we will show you how in four easy steps and less than 45 minutes, you can create a dental bar for overdentures while your patient waits in the chair. Simply take an impression, create your own acrylic model, bend the bar and place it in the mouth. It's as easy as that. For this demonstration, we'll be using a new worldwide patented product exclusively sold by BHI around the world called the Holder Bar. This product was invented by prosthodontist Dr. Veschler. After years of sending bars back to the lab because they don't fit, or they need slight readjustments, or had to be redone because one implant failed, he came up with the Holder Bar system. A fully adjustable, immediately loadable, and easily usable Holder Bar for the dentists like yourself who want to give their patients the next level of overdenture comfort. What you see here is a simulated jawline with four implants already implanted. This will act as our patient's mouth for the demonstration. Before the surgery, we make sure that the denture is ready for the patient. This stage is normally done a week before the surgery to make sure that the lab has enough time to prepare the denture. Our first steps after finishing the implant surgery is to connect the transfers to the implants. BHI recommends open tray transfers for ease of use and better accuracy. However, in this video, we will be using close tray transfers as they are more popular in the market. Once the transfers are connected, we will take an impression. Any impression material will work. Our next step, once the impression material has hardened, is to take out the transfers from the impression. Because we are using close tray transfers, we need to connect the analogs to the transfers and then place the transfers back into the impression the same way it came out in order to make sure we stay accurate. If we are using open tray transfers, we would have opened the transfer screw and then taken out the impression tray with the transfers already inside the impression. We would have, at that stage, connected the analogs to the transfers, making it a more accurate way of working. Now that the transfers are back in the impression tray and the analogs are connected to the transfers, we use a G-mask material to imitate the gums around the implants. The G-mask takes about two minutes to harden and any G-mask or light body impression material can be used. After the G-mask material hardens, we mix a fast set acrylic and pour it into the impression. We like to use the GC Unifast. It's a fast set acrylic that sets in about four minutes. Wait for the acrylic to dry and take it out of the impression. It'll come out with your closed tray transfers. Open the transfer screw and take them off the analogs. If we were using the open tray transfers, we would first unscrew the transfer screw and then take the acrylic material off the impression with the transfers staying in the impression and the analogs in the acrylic. We now have an acrylic model of the implants as they are situated in the mouth, including the angulation of each implant and the gum height. We can now work on this model in comfort without having to work in the confined space of the mouth. From the time we finished the surgery till now, it should have taken us roughly 15 minutes to get to this point. By looking at the model, we can now decide which side of the ridge we would like to place the holder bar. Remember that the holder bar can be placed on the lingual or buckle, or if it needs to be, it can even be placed on both sides in the same case, all depending on the directions of the implants and the way the ridge goes. This is the stage that we start preparing the bar. Simply slide the first abutment onto the bar and screw it into the first analog. Gently bend the bar using your hand or an orthodontic plier. Once the bar is over the second analog, slide the second abutment into place and screw it into the second analog. Continue the same strategy for the third and fourth analogs. Once all abutments are in place, trim the edges. 
There is no need to have more than a 6 mm overhang on both sides. Polish and smoothen the edges to make sure the bar does not cut the patient's gum. Once the edges have been smoothed out, the holder bar is ready to be placed in the patient's mouth. Slowly unscrew the bar from the analogs and take the holder bar off the model. We recommend to place the bar onto the analogs once more just to make sure that we have a passive fit and no adjustment is needed. However, this stage is not compulsory if you feel comfortable with the fit of your holder bar. Simply place the holder bar onto the implants and slowly tighten the abutment until they are connected. The holder bar is made out of titanium grade 2. One of the great characteristics of grade 2 titanium is that it has no memory, therefore does not exert any unnecessary forces on the implants.